Hi fourth graders, this is Mr. R. Welcome to your digital music lessons. And today we're gonna to be working on the packet that you received uh, before we had the break. And as you can see on the top, it says uh, fourth grade counting quarter notes and eighth notes. So that's what we're gonna be working on. Let's get to it. So fourth graders, as you can see, our topic will be counting quarter notes and eighth notes. So we're going to do it in two different ways. We're going to do it with just basic counting, but also uh, reciting the rhythmic syllables using ta's or tt's. So for the quarter notes, we have in a 4-4 four, four time signature, a quarter note is equal to one beat. Therefore, we have four quarter notes on this example. We have one, two, three, four, two, three, four. So try clapping that with me. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. Clap your hands, two, three, four. Now using the rhythmic syllable, we have ta, 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 ta. So right now, let's do the first exercise. Let's do the first exercise counting and clapping at the same time. We're going to repeat this twice. Then we're going to switch to the rhythmic syllable. Here we go. One, two, ready, start. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ta 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 ta. On letter B, now we have an example of having eighth notes instead of quarter notes. Now an eighth note is equal to a half beat. So we have two of the eighth notes, half and half, will be equal to one beat. So that's why we have two eighth notes equal to a quarter note. So when we count this, we go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's try to clap that and say the numbers. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now let's do the TTs. We go t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t. Try that again. Clap and say the syllables. Ready? Go. T t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t. So now let's clap both measures using numbers. Count it and then using the syllables. Ready? We're gonna do each one twice. One, two, ready, start. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t Now let's look at the next example we have here on letter C we now have a combination of quarter notes and there are some eighth notes in this measure. In this case, you will find that on the third beat. So how will you count this? So if you said one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, that's correct. So let's try that and clap it as we say the numbers or count. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Now let's try it using the syllables. Ready? And ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Let's do both the numbers and the syllables. One, two, ready, start. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. 
Now we are looking at letter D. On letter D, we have eighth note followed by a quarter note. And on the third beat, we have another set of eighth notes and a quarter note. Let's try to count it together. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Now let's try the syllables. Ready? And ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ti ti ta. Now let's do both, repeating each one, and then clapping and counting, or clapping and saying the syllables at the same time. One, two, ready, go. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ti ti ta, ti ti ta. Okay, so now we're going to use this hand drum. If you don't have a hand drum at home, you can always use something that could create just a sound, a rhythm sound. Maybe like an empty bucket or an empty uh, ice cream container or even just a book something that you will be able to play this pattern. So let's start with letter A. Remember, uh, these are just quarter notes. We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or ta, 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 ta. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ta, ta, ta. Letter B, we have the eighth notes. We go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T. Letter C, we have two quarter notes on the first and second beat, an eighth note, a pair of eighth notes on the third beat, and another quarter note on the fourth beat. That goes one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Ta ta ti ti ta. Ta ta ti ti ta. Ta ta ti ti ta. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Letter D. We have a pair of eighth notes followed by quarter note on the second beat and on the third beat another pair of eighth notes with a quarter note on the fourth beat so it goes one and two three and four one and two three and four ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti ta one and two three and four one and two three and four ti ti By the way, this instrument that I'm using is called a dombek. But there's an instrument similar to this one that's bigger. That one is called a djembe. So now, this one that I'm holding looks like a water pot, doesn't it? It has a hole here and a hole here and a tiny hole here. This is actually called an udu drum. Udu drum. Now, this creates a really unique sound. This is definitely made of clay and it's a hardened clay and it is used to actually collect water, but it was turned also into an instrument. What we're going to do on Roman numeral number two on your packet, Now what we're going to do on your packet, where it says Roman numeral two, using a hand drum, or if able, a book, or even a pillow, tap as you count the exercise. 
Now, work on reading the following rhythmic exercise. But what I would like to try right now is I'm going to play at random, not in any order, those patterns, those rhythmic samples, numbers 1 to 5, and I'm going to play them in different order. Post a comment below on the number order that you think I played them in. So technically, you're just going to write numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, but you have to line them up in the order that you think the way I played them. Post your answers on the comments below. So again, I'm looking at the exercises listed on Roman numeral number two. This is in no particular order. You're gonna have to write down your answers as to which would be the right order of each numbers that I played them. So are you ready? Here we go. First one. I'm going to repeat each one uh, three times, okay? Here we go. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. So there you have it to all my fourth graders. I hope you're going to enjoy practicing this exercise and participate on the quiz that I just gave you. Again, all you need to do is put the numbers from 1 to 5 and line them up in the order that I played them. So you have to look at your packet and then figure out the correct order how I played each one. So I kind of mixed them up. It wasn't just in order from one, two, three, four, five. I rearranged them and if you figured out the order that I did it, put it on the comment below and then I will let you know if you got it right.